Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia and Sands, and this is Learn How to Edit Stuff. I know, I haven't put up a video for a while. I was traveling in Europe for like three weeks and I didn't have time, I didn't have my camera, I didn't have any of my setup, but we're back now and I'm answering your most asked question. Can you teach us how to make the everyone is here Super Smash Brothers meme? And the answer is... <laughs> All right, let's try that again. <laughs> and the answer is yes. Okay, seriously, the answer is yes. I, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that today. Now, I've seen this meme done a couple different ways and what I took from it is that you'll need a video, obviously, to do it with. You'll need the Super Smash Brothers theme song, link in the video description below. You'll need a paint splatter thing to go behind your nameplate and you'll need a pastel background. I just searched Google for paint splatter and pastel background and find a bunch of different options so you can do that as well. Can you do this in Adobe Premiere? Absolutely. Are we going to? Absolutely not. We're gonna use Adobe After Effects because that's what you should be using because it's easier, there's more tools and it's cooler. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna time it all in Adobe Premiere, then bring it into After Effects, do all of our editing and then bring it back into Premiere so you guys can continue editing and continue doing what you're doing in your video. So it's, you know, it's the best of both Worlds. So find your clip, download the song, find your pastel backgrounds and paint splatters and open up Adobe Premiere first because that's where we're starting. All right guys, Adobe Premiere is open and on my timeline, I've got the clip that I want to do the Super Smash Brothers meme to and this is what it looks like. And the answer is... <sighs> Okay, cool, same one you saw at the beginning of this episode. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out where in the clip you want the meme to actually click into the pastel -y kind of paint splatter thing. So right about here where I sneeze, is where I want the meme to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up where I want the meme to start with the theme song first. So here's the theme song. So right here. Right where the ah starts, because that's like the most epic part of the song. So what I'm gonna do is just set an in point right there and an out point right around here. And I'm just gonna drag that down onto my timeline right about here. So now when I play it, And then theoretically the meme would last from the sneeze to about here and then the next one would start continuing here and moving on but we're only gonna do one for the sake of this tutorial so it's not super long and theoretically you would just copy and paste this format for however many you wanna do in the meme. So I'm liking the timing of that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna highlight all of this and I'm going to right click and go to replace with After Effects composition. And what that will do is it will take all of my media down here and it will open it up into After Effects on its own timeline. All right, so now After Effects has basically mirrored my Premiere timeline. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna duplicate this first layer right here. And I'm just gonna drag this side over to be here and then the layer underneath it to here because this is actually gonna act as our freeze frame. So what I'm gonna do is right click on this now and go to time freeze frame. And then this will create a freeze frame that will just last for the duration of the meme song down here. So the first thing I'm gonna do on this freeze frame is I'm gonna come up to my pen tool and I'm just gonna cut myself out. All right, pretty decent cutout to me. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. The videos that you're probably using for this are gonna be super low res anyway, so it doesn't need to be a super clean, high resolution video or a super clean cut or mask. So just kind of do it, you know, however you, uh, let's move on. All right, so now that I have that mask, what I'm gonna do is actually take the first part of the clip and the second part of the clip, and I'm gonna hit Shift Control C to pre-compose it, and I'm gonna call this sneeze. So basically what I want to do now is I want the camera to kind of shake before we get into the freeze frame and then all of our backgrounds and stuff to come up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set right where the freeze frame starts, I'm gonna set a position and scale keyframe. So uh, my keyboard shortcuts are Alt S and Alt P, but yours may be different. You can check in the keyboard shortcuts layout menu inside of After Effects, but mine are Alt S, Alt P, that's it. So then I'm gonna come back a couple frames. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do eight frames. And I'll set another position and scale keyframe here. And basically what I want to do is I want to scale this up like right about there. And I'm gonna copy and paste this scale keyframe so it stays at the same scale basically. And what I'm gonna do now is go frame by frame and just kind of move the position of this video around so it kind of shakes a little bit before we get into the sneeze. And I've seen this done in a couple of the different meme videos and I think it actually adds a lot of value to the meme here. So now here we go. Okay, it actually might be too long. So let's get rid of some of these and let's just move this guy here. There you go. So now that we've got that, what we'll do is we will move this over. Let's go two frames over. Eh, let's go three frames over. And we'll just kind of scoot me over this way to right about there. And then we'll go all the way to the very end of the clip and we'll just continue moving me on. So now it'll do the shake and then it'll scoot and then do a slow scoot there. Actually, let's move this over one frame, so two frames. 
Nice. All right, cool. That's looking pretty good so far. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a bulge to this as well. So if you come up here to effects and presets and you type in bulge, we're just going to drop that right onto our pre-comp there and a little circle will appear. What I'm going to do is put that right over my face and I'm going to increase the horizontal radius and the vertical radius to be a nice big old circle to encompass my face there. And that looks about good. And so what we'll do now is we'll just set a keyframe for the bulge height. So right here at the very start of it, we're going to have it at zero. And then we'll go over two frames and we'll increase the bulge and then we'll put it back at zero by the time the meme actually hits. So now it's just adding like a nice little bulge effect before we go into it. And I think that actually does add a little bit of uh, goofiness to the meme and a little bit more production value as far as the meme is concerned. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> just, just a little bulge, a little bulge effect. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that going on, the next thing we're going to do is add our pastel backgrounds and our paint splatter. So I have mine here. So I'm going to grab the green one and this paint splatter here, and I'm going to drag it into After Effects. And very simply, I'm going to drag this below the sneeze comp, and I'm going to scale it up so it fills the entire frame. And I will have it start here. You can hit Alt and the left bracket to trim your layer to where you want it to start. And then same thing with the paint splatter. I'm just going to drag this right down onto my timeline here, and I'm going to move it over to the side and I'm gonna scale it up as well and kind of hide the big bulky part of it and just keep this like little hanging part here. Maybe we'll rotate it just slightly. So now that's gonna stay right about there. And now theoretically it does the shake, the bulge, and then I move over and then we're gonna put our name plate here. So come up to your text layer and we're gonna put a not Ian Sands. We're gonna make it white. And as you can see, I already have a stroke on the text and how you get the stroke is you see these two little color boxes over here, the one behind it, which is like this black box with the hole in it, that's your stroke. So you'll double click there and you'll go to black and then you can control your stroke width with this little uh, stroke box here in After Effects. So the more I do it, the bigger the stroke will be. But I think that uh, right about four or five actually looks pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to effects and presets and I'm going to type in shadow. And I'm going to drop a dimensional bevel and shadow effect onto my text. And that's going to give it the nice little beveled edges that you see here. Uh, just a little bit added production quality as well to the meme guys. And you're not doing a whole lot of work. You're just dropping a preset on there. It also has a drop shadow so you can increase the distance or decrease the distance. So I think uh, right about there looks good at four. And I like the default bevel there. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to position this text where I want it. Maybe scale it back just a touch. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate this text drag it down below and you'll do the second name play because in the traditional meme, you have the person's name and then underneath it, you have like a goofy line about it. So in this case, we'll just do sneeze because that's what we're going to do. And we'll make it green to match the background. doesn't have to be the exact color, but it can be close. All right, there you go. We'll position this text right about there. And then same thing here, guys, we're going to grab both text layers. We're going to hit shift control C to pre-compose and we'll call this text. And then what I'm gonna do is click on the layer and hit Y on the keyboard. And then right in the middle of your comp will be the anchor point. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is take that anchor point and drag it up into the middle of your text because what we're gonna do next is just make this text layer 3D. So come down here to toggle switch modes if you don't see the little 3D box. And we're gonna click that 3D box right there. Then we're gonna hit R on the keyboard to bring up our rotation properties. And now we can rotate this text on a 3D axis like you see in the meme. So what we'll do is we'll kind of start it off Right about here, we'll set a Y rotation keyframe and we'll go all the way to the end and maybe we'll just rotate it, uh, you know, to zero or something or close to zero. So now that text is rotating nicely as I'm moving over to the side. Looking good so far. Next, we're going to add a little bit of movement in our paint splatter. So right where the meme starts, we're going to set a position keyframe and we're going to go all the way to the end and we're just going to drag this paint layer over to the side just a little bit. And same with our background. We're going to set a position keyframe for our background, go all the way to the end and just slightly move it in the same direction as the paint splatter. Now, subtlety is going to be your friend here. You don't want super large movements. You don't want dramatic movements. You want very subtle, small movements. The main movement in your meme composition is going to be the subject that we've cut out before. So in this case, it's me moving over to the left. So that's our main bit of movement. And then the text is kind of supplemental to that. So what we can do is just take this text layer and drag it over to where the meme starts. And let's check out what we've got so far. <laughs> All right, guys, it's looking pretty good so far for me. Uh, I think what I'll do as well is add a drop shadow to the cutout here. So we'll come up to effects and presets. We'll type in drop shadow and drag it onto this layer here. 
and we'll zoom in so you guys can see it. We'll increase the distance and we'll increase the spread and maybe the direction. So now it's a nice little drop shadow to just kind of add a little bit more production value. We're just adding a little production value every time. That's all you gotta do for this meme. It's actually pretty simple otherwise, but let's keep going. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think the last thing that I'm gonna add to this is going to be a lens flare because a lot of people will use a lens flare to like make it more dramatic or whatever. So we're gonna add one of those. We're gonna come up to layer, new, solid. Doesn't matter the color, click okay. Come up to your effects and presets and type in lens and drop in a generate lens flare right onto that layer. I'm gonna switch it over from 50 to 300 millimeter to 105 millimeter prime. Take this layer here, come down to toggle and switch modes and set the blend mode from normal to add. And then take my flare center and I'm going to kind of throw it over here into the top corner and right where the meme starts, I'm gonna set a keyframe for the flare center at the top here, this little uh, red circle with the cross in it. Then I'm gonna go all the way to the end and I'm actually just gonna drag this down just a bit to like right there. And then again, we're gonna come back over to where the meme starts. We're gonna set a keyframe for the flare brightness. And what you can do is click on this layer and hit U on the keyboard, which will show you all of your animated properties on a layer, if you just do that. So flare brightness, we'll come over uh, one, two, three, four keyframes, set another flare brightness. And then we'll come all the way down over here, close to the end, and we'll set another flare brightness. So why am I setting so many flare brightness keyframes? I'm about to show you. Let's go to the very front. Let's set the flare brightness uh, from 100% to, uh, I don't know, like 200%. And then it'll go from 200% to 100% to kind of transition us in. Oh, trim this layer back so you don't have a gigantic lens flare the whole time. So does the shake and the bulge, and then the lens flare will transition us in and it goes from 200 to 100, and then we'll come all the way down to our other flare brightness keyframe here, and we'll drop it down from 100 to 50. So over time, it is getting less bright. All right, let's check it out. And the answer is... Nice guys, it's looking pretty good. So once you have this kind of done for one, you can manipulate this to make as many as you want, right? So I can take this little paint splatter thing and I can move it somewhere else in the frame and I can take the name and move it somewhere else in the frame. I can take my subject and move him somewhere else in the frame. So once you've created this framework for yourself, you can now take this and do it as many times as you want. You can swap out background colors. You can swap out where the text is on screen, where the paint splatter is, where your subject is and on and on and on. But creating this first one, I think to me is the most important. So then you can kind of templateize it and move forward and do multiple of them in the same video. A little confusing, maybe, not really. A lot of fun, absolutely. All you gotta do is have a video, the Super Smash Brothers theme song, link in the video description, a pastel background and a paint splatter background and After Effects and Premiere, which actually is a lot of stuff. But if you have all of those things, congratulations. You've just made yourself and everyone is here Super Smash Brothers meme. I am so proud of you. Well, that about does it today for me, guys. My name is Nadia Insans. This is Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff unless I go out of town for three weeks and I don't post a video for a while. But hey, we're back in action now. We're teaching you how to make memes. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on Twitter at Nadia Insans. Ask away, I will respond and I'll see you next time.